What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And yes, we are going to be talking about eFootball 2025 with a wish list for Master League, which is an offline career mode where you take a team and go on and try and conquer the world, right? So with this roadmap, you guys might recognize this from way back. If you haven't and you're new to eFootball, I'm going to explain everything. So essentially, we're going back and we're going to take a look at different iterations of Master League where you pick the team, you could pay, play with the proper players, or you could pick a couple of these guys. Now, you might notice a couple of names here, including Castolo from eFootball. This is back in PES 6, but a couple of these players are in the database in eFootball 2024. And also, Castolo is the guy that you take the penalty with for the daily penalty. So you can see Castolo there. This is the original and modeled on the original PES United team. So you can see Castolo there taking the penalty. This is the guy that you take the penalty with most of the time with the penalty shooting. And this is what he looks like in eFootball 2024 at the moment and a little comparison there as well i've done a full video on this before a couple of different players as well right but master league was essentially an offline career mode where you pick the team you conquered the world you played in all the tournaments you could see it was featured in every pez game with the pez series and obviously you had an online aspect of it we'll talk about that in a separate video dream team has kind of become that but you would be able to have a manager you created a manager you could create everything about him and model the team in your play style by players, transfer players, it was all offline, there was no online aspect of it, it was a separate, dedicated, offline-centric mode, and you can see here, we could scan in our face, this is obviously a funny face here, um, but you could have a Master League original lineup, or a club team lineup, so if you picked a club team lineup, it was, you know, the actual squad, if you picked any other squad, it was going to be the same players, with just the different team that you would pick, so you could pick Manchester United, have their badge, their kits, you could edit everything, and obviously I've done a video on edit mode as well, but yeah, it was a career mode. It was an offline career mode. You were introduced to the press. You would answer questions. You know, you could get fired. You could like sign for different clubs. There was different, you know, versions of Master League. But essentially, it was a massive foundational part of uh, Pez and the Pez franchise. And I think a lot of people don't really recognize eFootball as Pez. And it's not meant to be because obviously it's a brand new franchise. But still, there is that legacy stuff there. But a lot of people just don't like that, you know, Pez was always about edit mode and master league and those two fundamental things are not in eFootball you know obviously dream team is doing its own thing but I still do feel like uh, me as a, an offline guy you could do all this you could buy all of this a lot of this stuff has made it into my league so that's why I think my league is going to be a, like a little introduction into what master league eventually becomes or what it's going to be called uh, when it doesn't be announced or whatever I do really feel like that even the dream team stuff and all the offline and the online stuff I, I feel like that you do need to have some sort of offline game mode. Genuinely, I do. I think that, it, you know, you need to offer both. And obviously, you could just have so many options that you wanted to do here. I use play this for hours and hours and hours. But I'm very interested now in this age of online gaming. What do you guys actually think? We're going to just show you a couple of clips in the background here of edited stuff and Master League. And this is from PES 2013 that you're seeing here, all the clips. But it doesn't really matter. It's just showing you a little flavor of what Master League was like. You'd pick a squad, you'd build your team, you could transfer players, you could sign players, you could, you know, hire coaches to train your squad for you. You could, you know, have players and turn them into monsters. You could buy a young player that's like 80 overall and turn them into like a 95 overall, you know, beast scoring 40 goals a season. Um, there was lots of variety that you could do it. And the gameplay was really nice with offline. But I'm very interested to know what you guys think of where Master League now exists or where it could exist within the eFootball infrastructure because we know Dream Team is super popular. We know a lot of people like to buy buy packs and coins um, and new players and boosters this and boosters that. I like that, man. I like Dream Team. I do really like Dream Team. My issues with Dream Team are more from a gameplay and grinding uh, objectives and something to do, content style of play. The actual gameplay and the online servers and stuff is where you know me and Dream Team don't really get on. But I do feel like Dream Team is a good mode. It's super fun. Um, you can, you know, have a lot of stuff that you can do there. But I think with a career mode, for me, I definitely am all about creating your own story. That I would love to have content where I could have a squad, you know, design my kits, design my manager, um, you know, have a lot of banter going on, signing sponsorships, you know, hitting objectives, selling players, buying players, and even streamable content. It would be very fun. But I want to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, where it sits in. Are you interested in offline modes? Are you interested in a career mode? Or is it all about, you know, the allure and the, the crack of beating people online and dominating online against other real players, not playing against the AI? That's kind of what I want to know. And obviously you can see here as well, a classic style Master League. This was something that I used to love to do. You had every team in the game with a classic option files. You had Ronaldo, Romario, uh, Rivaldo, 
all of these guys, you know, R9, you had him with Real Madrid here, Figo, Zidane, the Galacticos, versus a classic selection of players that played for Manchester United. Roy Keane, Schmeichel, Yap Stam, uh, Georgie Best, Van Nisselrooy, all of these players, you know. Um, and then, obviously, the last Master League was PES 2017. That was kind of the last one that I really played, PES 17, 18, were actually really fun, where they tried a lot of new features. Now, I'm going to show you these clips here, and you're going to notice a couple of different features that have kind of come into eFootball, right? So obviously you had the transfer window, deadline day, negotiations and all that. But watch this screen here where we're training, where you had the player styles, you'd hold player, you could a lot of different playing styles coming in where you could train and you could adapt to that. You could try different things and also skills. You could train skills and different roles onto each player. So they've started to kind of like, you know, weave in a couple of these things to eFootball 2024 now, obviously with the position trainers, with the skill trainers, with the new boosters and all that. But yeah, I am really interested to know where you guys think eFootball 2025 or eFootball 2026 could, you know, incorporate a Master League, an offline mode um, into it. Because I know some people have just no interest in it. Now, if you look at EA FC, right, I think if you were to look at that for a little bit of inspiration, and this does tie into the edit mode video that I did as well, I think having customization, you know, for your, your squad, your stadium, your tactics, your managers, your sponsorships, your kits, all of that, the pitch, all of that, I think that's a given as to what needs to happen, you know, boots and stuff like that, tattoos and stuff like that, that could be kind of down the line, but I think the basic stuff is already in e EAFC, where it doesn't need that much, you know, kind of like completely reinventing it you know um it just needs to be very very customizable and just have a lot of stuff and i think that's the direction eFootball needs to go if you're asking me yes the licenses and the cards and all that can be really really nice but for going for offline it should be more about the customization that you want to make the you know your stadium and your club exactly how you want to make it with your own sponsorship and whatever and change your team exactly give yourself as much or as little money as possible. I think it should be just all about customization. And that's kind of where I would go with Master League. But yeah, it just seems so far along now since we had the roadmap. But I genuinely am really interested to see what you guys think, where Master League could come in, where an offline career mode could come into eFootball. Are you interested in it? Have you no interest in it? Are you okay with Dream Team? You just want, you know, all attention to be on Dream Team. Forget about the roadmap in terms of modes and stuff. And just focus on Dream Team, focus on online infrastructure, focus on servers, and focus on content, like much more to do, cross-platform, all that sort of stuff, mobile control, controller support. Let me know what you guys think. I'm genuinely, genuinely interested to know what you guys think, because I'm obviously of an older kind of like Pez fan base, as in I've been playing this game and this Pez series for years. Like my first Pez was, you know, back in ISS 64 or 98 um, and obviously I've played for years and years and years. So I obviously always have a soft spot for Master League because that was when I first fell in love with Pez. But this is not Pez anymore, it's eFootball. So let me know what you guys think. I'm very interested to know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. We will be back with some more and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.